Hello YouTube, today at uh, powerjackrepair.org we got an Asus VivaBook S333J and the client states that they had to wiggle the connector sometime but now it doesn't work so what I want to do and I mean it doesn't mean it's the connector issue I'm not sure what, what's this thing here it doesn't mean it's the connector issue, it could be anything, but let's take a look since it's already here. All right. Not the right screwdriver. Okay. So it, it arrived here for the power connector replacement. That's what we do. That's the website, those are the rates. Hopefully I updated the rate for 2024. Let's see. Way up. Okay, so here. Somebody obviously took it apart before because we have some, well, could be a screw here, could be a screw there. And it seems like there are screws underneath there, I think. But I just want to make sure. Yeah, probably there are screws here. Where is my favorite tool? Favorite tool? Oh no, you know what? There might not be screws there. Alright, so let's see if we can try and open the bottom on the top. Okay, like that. Good job. All right, so it doesn't seem like anything wrong with the soldering here. Well, let's see what we can do. The way how you take this connector off, we started to fix those connectors as well because people just pull out the connections and it takes out the whole connector from the motherboard. You have to move this metal piece that way uh, to disconnect the to disconnect the battery. All right, let's see. So here's the charger that the client provided. And it's an aftermarket charger. I'm not sure if it makes a difference for this connector. Let's take a look. Mm. Ah, I see. Yeah, so it seems like something isn't right with the connector itself. Here. Are you going to focus? So you see, it seems like this thing is broken right here. So yeah, when it looks like that, it's probably not uh, conducting the electricity properly. I'm not sure if I have this connector in stock, but you know, let me take it apart uh, and this, uh, remove that connector and put the new connector if I'm going to find the new connector. So here we got some sort of extra stuff. Um, let's remove the battery first. To remove the battery, the screws from the battery. It doesn't want to get separated because of the tape here and tape here. Let's see.
Not ready. Like that. Like that. Like that. Here we have a sticker that we need to remove first, then bend it a bit this way. Uh, you can, by the way, zoom in if you're watching on the phone. You can zoom in into this video, or if you have an access to the big screen, you could see it on the big screen. We record in 4K. So my assumption there is something taped down there as well. So here is the sticker here, tape here, tape here. So you kind of have to keep that in mind in order not to break this connector. So let's continue. Like that. Like that. All right, so this is a smaller screw. Those are the two bigger screws right there. All right, do we have any more screws here? Or we don't have any more screws. All right, so what we need to do is we need to open up the screen. And something here like that. For some reason, is, is there a tape on the fan of some sort? Oh, oh yeah, okay, I figured the problem. All right, so this is another screw. This is another screw, which we can put right there, which held the fan in place. Here, like that. Probably won't disconnect the fan too. And we're gonna clean it, even though it looks relatively new. All right, okay. Yeah, something isn't right with the connector itself. Uh, but I honestly don't think I have something like that in stock. Ah, I see, I see, I see. Oh no, I don't see. Maybe it's the weird looking connector. I just haven't seen connectors like that. Um, all right. Anyways, let's take the connector off the motherboard. I hope we're gonna match something up to this. And the way we take it off the motherboard is by adding some leaded base solder here. And the deleted base solder gonna mix with the unleaded base solder. And that will pop the connector right off the motherboard. So let me show you how to do it. Alrighty, so what we do is we add a little bit of heat to the motherboard. Just warm it up slightly. And now we're going to add some solder, leaded base solder to the All right, good job. Let's flip it over. All 
let's add all righty all right So now what we do is uh, crank up the heat. And we get this connector out. All right. Next step is to get all the solder out from from the folds and for that we reduce the temperature all right Right, looks good. Let's get this solder out of here. Alright, so that's how we desolder the connector. Right, so the client is unlocked because I do have the same exact connector. Same exact connector. Yeah, it looks exactly the same. Beautiful. So that's the old one, that's the new one. All right, so in order to install a new connector, you see how the old one fell apart? Like that. All right. All righty, putting some flux here. And something somewhere doesn't want to go in. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to We're going to try and get as much solder out as possible. I'm not sure if it's didn't come out here at the back. 
or it didn't come out right there at the front. So let's see. All right, let's take a look right now. Will it go in? Yep, it did go in. Wonderful. Well, no, it's okay. Looks good. All right, so what I'm going to do here is again put some flux to to make sure that the solder penetrates all the way through Beautiful. 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 Again, beautiful. And I want to just add some solder to the rear. Wonderful. All right. <coughs> Let me take a look. All right, the solder penetrated everything just fine. I want to add a little bit more solder right here. So it will penetrate a bit more. All right. Good job. Good job. Alrighty, do a bit more cleanup. Beautiful, beautiful, excellent, good job. Alrighty, so here we go. This guy here. Let's put the guy. This guy. Oh, I see something is broken here. That might or might not cause issues in the future. All right. So here.
I wonder how this thing doesn't cause the cable to rub here. It rubs right here, I can see that. How about rubbing here? Right, so keep in mind this is a short screw right there. Okay. Looks good, looks good. Wonderful. Let's click down the, the cover.
what's going on here? Yeah, the damage right there, it's grabs onto the, onto the cover. Take a look. Oh, the click is much more solid. And obviously the jack was broken. But I don't see anything here. It could be that the whole plug is messed up. Because they wiggled it to death. By the way, did I connect the battery? The the connector on the battery, did I connect it? Let's take a look. Hold on one second. Maybe it's just going to power up. Nope. It doesn't power up. I'm not sure if I connected the battery. Let me see if we get the voltage here. We're not getting anything there. Let's see. Hold on. Mm. Hard to say. Um, I need a thinner. Hold on a second. Let's shut down this guy. Okay. Doesn't power up. Okay. Maybe something on the motherboard when that um, when they. And they wiggled it to death. Let's see. All right. So as you can see, it's never straightforward uh, repair, like one should expect. Instead, it's always, it's always something. So yeah, people wiggle that, wiggle that, wiggle it until it died. And I want to see where it died. Where is my favorite screwdriver? This is not the way to do this thing. Screwing around. And let's see, is that the one? No, that's not the one. Right, that's the one. Okay. So let's do it. Yeah, I did connect the battery. Let's plug this guy in. Hmm. It does get plugged in. Just fine, okay? Let's see if you're getting any voltage on the connector. Yeah, we get 20 volts on the connector. And for some reason it doesn't work. <laughs> I get that like five ten volts here. Get nothing there. Anyways, I have to take the whole thing apart again to see why it doesn't work. Nothing comes to the battery. Zero. 
nothing zip. Yeah, so basically the client wiggled it to death. Once you wiggle it to death, nothing gonna show up at the... Ooh, there is water damage right there. So that's one of the things. Anyways, so in case you didn't wiggle it to death, you know, leave a like, send the board in, but uh, this one I will have to spend a lot more time working on and uh, it's the video going to be just probably a few hours long if I'm going to show you how, what I did and will it work, will it not work, go figure. So yeah, thanks so much for watching, please leave a like, subscribe and you guys have a good day. Thanks, bye.